Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you for the opportunity to uh, present some pieces of information about Russian perspectives in Ar Arctic science uh, collaboration. Um, next slide. Uh, first of all, how it is scientifically organized in Russia. Um, we have Scientific Council of the Russian Academy of Sciences for Arctic and Antarctic Studies. The focus of this council at the moment is Arctic Studies. And this is the uh, piece of uh, Russian Academy of Sciences. Um, coordinated by um, the Presidium of RAS uh, directly. Um, our Academy has 13 uh, thematic divisions and 11 of them are represented on the Council. Also, uh, geographically, the Academy has four branches, central branch, with the headquarters in Moscow, from where I'm uh, talking this morning. This is Ural branch with the headquarters in Yekaterinburg, Sibir the, uh, Siberian uh, branch, the headquarters in uh, close to Novosibirsk in Akademi Garadok, and far eastern branch of Ras with the center in uh, Vladivostok. Uh, on the right-hand side of the slide, uh, you see the um, names of the thematic divisions of the Academy involved in the Council. Next slide. For the moment, the main um, ongoing activity is a creation and deployment of um, so-called snowflake uh, project. This project is um, run by Institute of Arctic Technologies of Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology, famous MIPT. Um, you see here how it will look in uh, some time from now, we estimate about uh, a year and a half or uh, two years to have this building somehow uh, similar to uh, Atomium in uh, Brussels, I would say, but not so 3D. And next slide. Snowflake is planned as a fully autonomous year-round facility powered by renewable energy sources and hydrogen fuel. Its opening is planned for 2024. The project was proposed by Russia at the end of the 2019. It was unanimously supported by Arctic countries on June 8, 2020, at the session of Sustainable Development Working Group of Arctic Council. The name of the project in the Arctic Council records is Arctic Hydrogen Energy Applications and Demonstrations AHEAD, so encouraging um, abbreviation. The goal of the facility is to enable Russian and foreign partners uh, to test and demonstrate environmentally friendly life support technologies, new materials, smart home and smart village systems, as well as biotech, medical and robotic solutions. Uh, next slide, please. Snowflake is a new platform for international co uh, cooperation between engineers, researchers, scientists, and students involved in Arctic studies. We expect um, quite uh, 
quite an interest from our foreign partners to use this facility together. The station will be able to serve as a vehicle to support joint research on climate change, ecology, Arctic geophysics and environmental pollution. Functioning as a living laboratory, IAS, IAS means snowflake, will provide a technological and economic foundation to scale up the newly developed solutions for widespread use. Uh, next slide, please. Total construction area of the observatory is about 5,000 square meters. We estimate that up to 80 guest researchers will be able to comfortably stay and work there for quite a long time. Snowflake approach significantly reduces the risks of environmental pollution in a result of man-made accidents, as well as the volume of greenhouse gas emission. We hope that this will go in this way. Next slide. The project evaluation already started. Uh, Snowflake was presented at the International Exhibition Water Energy Technology and Environment, WETEX uh, 2021 in uh, Dubai, uh, 5 to 7 of October this year. Here you see the exhibition participants uh, discuss the uh, project, Snowflake project with the presenters. Next slide, please. Snowflake's scientific program is being uh, developed now. And uh, there is many direction in which the uh, facility can be used. Following international program geochronological research station will be launched at snowflakes. Temperature measurements, studies of rock properties and geocryological uh, uh, processes will be accompanied by observation of the release of greenhouse gases, etc., gases, etc. The active development of Arctic region, including exploration and production of minerals, requires creation of equipment and technologies suitable for year-round operations in the Arctic. In the framework of the project, a full-scale magnetic observatory will be deployed at the station. This is, in particular, the main task of my institute, which is called Geophysical Center of Russian Academy of Sciences. We serve as the uh, center of the Russian Magnetic Observatories uh, Network. Exploration of subsail requires the improvement of navigation methods and operational control over the state of the Earth's magnetic field and seismicity. Snowflake will become the relevant testing ground. Uh, next slide, please. On 15th October 2021, joint expedition of the geologic um, of the Geophysical Center of RAS, which I already mentioned and in which I am the chief scientist. The Center of Autonomous Power Engineering of uh, MIPT, FISTECH in Russian, Russian Arctic Development Center conducted joint magnetic survey of the snowflake area. 
of the future snowflake area. The main goal was to study variations of the Earth magnetic anomalies and to determine suitable sites for the pavilions of the future geomagnetic observatory. Next slide. Here you see map of intermagnet observatories mm, uh, worldwide. Uh, by the you you see here that this is uh, more than hundred. The number changes with time. Uh, some observatories kill the system. Some uh, go out. Uh, because the quality is becoming worse. Uh, but usually the system has about 120, 130 observatories. By red color, Russian observatories are marked. Uh, their number is similar to the number of observatories in uh, US and Canada, let's say, but mm, the area is bigger. So we need more observatories. And one of them is planned to be deployed as a part of a uh, 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 snowflake uh, facility. So in this way, an important contribution to intermagnet international Magnetic Observatories Network will be provided. Next slide. It is evident from the map, which I just showed you, that there are not enough geomagnetic observatories in the Russian Arctic zone compared to Finland, Sweden, Norway, and other countries in this area. Russia is planning to deploy four following full-scale geomagnetic observatories in the Arctic area. This is White Sea uh, on the base of Lomonosov uh, Moscow State University um, uh, permanent expedition on the uh, White Sea. Uh, this observatory will be deployed uh, jointly with the Geophysical Center of Russia. Um, Klimov scan. This is uh, again an observatory um, in Arctic area in um, Arhangelsk County. It is fastly developed uh, facility, obs observing facility, which is approaching now the quality required by intermagnets. So as a system, it is already intermagnet. All the instruments are in place. But uh, quality is enhanced every month. And we hope this will be very fast a part of intermagnet, maybe uh, in the beginning of next year already. Then snowflake. Snowflake, this is a long way to to go we just started with that and uh, the plan is to have it ready along with the, the magnetic observatory in uh, 2024 and finally this is samuel of island in the delta of the uh, lena river quite isolated place but on one of the Samuel of Island, there is an international uh, test area, and there also a magnetic observatory is planned. Next slide. Here you see a map of um, a scheme where this new magnetic observatory will be located. Again, the red ones already function uh, 
uh, but um, equ the quality should be enhanced to be a part of intermagnet, but data is available. Uh, and the yellow, uh, the two yellow, these are what will be created, which is under creation now, under development. And Snowflake is in the beginning of the process. And uh, some oil of island, I would say, maybe uh, half process already has passed. Next slide. Just to mention another future activity, scientific, Russian scientific activity in uh, Arctic, also, which is also planned as the joint research project with our uh, foreign partners, uh, countries of the um, Arctic Council and not only, I think. This is the idea to create a new drifting station on the basis of the icebreaker Captain Dranitsyn frozen into the ice. So this is somehow similar to uh, projects of other countries. Our French colleagues did it as far as I know and uh, some other countries also did it. The new thing here is that this ship, it is quite big ship. Many, many things can be developed at such a station. Next slide. Oh, here are just uh, listed the direction of uh, research uh, planned in the research plan of Kapitan Dranitsyn's project. This is climatology, glaciology, geophysics, geology, oceanography, and ecology, etc. Next slide. Finally, this is the view of uh, snowflake in future. Thank you very much.